And now we would like to uh, welcome Liz from Girl Develop to our show. Hi, Liz. Hi. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks. for coming. Yeah. We're so excited about this. So what is Girl Develop It? Girl Develop It is a nonprofit organization um, for women over 18 years old, um, teaching them and empowering them how to learn how to make software development or code or games like we've been talking about. Okay. So this, this video is talking about these people doing gaming and coding. What is gaming and coding? Coding is uh, what makes it possible to create uh, computer software applications, mobile apps. If anyone at home has played Candy Crush on their sure. phone <laughs> or if you use Google, that is all based off of code. Okay. I know a lot of students these days love PlayStation, Xbox, Wii U. That's also used with uh, coding to create it. Okay. I like to give the example that code is a tool that developers use to build websites, such as a carpenter um, uses nails, wood, and paint to build a doghouse. All right. Um, in the video, we are hearing about this thing, a hackathon. What is that? Uh, hackathons typically last uh, over a weekend or <laughs> over several weeks. Um, basically, it's a large gathering of individuals um, that are interested in coding. There's software developers, designers, program managers, and they come and create. I like to call it an in invention marathon. So they're not so they like take, hacking into stuff. No, are they, they take right. about three days to create an innovative product, um, okay. and then the, at the end of the three days is a judging panel. And there was actually one recently this past weekend in Rochester cool. that our leader Kristen Kurtzy went to, and she was a judge uh, at Brick Hacks oh, at right. RIT. Very cool. Oh, totally cool. Yeah. So this organization, uh, why is it important that there are organizations like this? Um, for, our, for our organization particularly, we want to definitely um, empower our women over 18 and create a judgment-free zone. Also, um, definitely to provide these women a, an experience where it's affordable for them if they missed the boat or maybe they didn't have the opportunity when they were in middle school or high school or college to take these coding classes. Uh, now we provide classes for them at any age to come and join us compared to students today that um, could take a Grew coding up class. taking coding. Sure. Yeah. So. They didn't have coding when I was in school. Right. Well, ours was let X equal. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now, is this um, a local? Is it state? Is it national? This um... We're actually located in 50, 53 cities. Um, we're technically oh. international. Hi high five to right. Ottawa, Canada, Woo! being our one Canada <laughs> city. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking and we're growing every year. All right, good. Awesome. Yeah, it is. So um, gaming and coding, so this, your program is for women. So why is it important that we get women involved in this? Why? Um, like the video said, um, women do uh, play 50% of games um, out there. And so we definitely bring a different perspective and a different uh, personality. And um, when you have more diverse groups um, involved in creating a product, you will always get a better result. So right now, most people are not women. The majority of people who are coders are men who are doing coding. Yes, yes. So if a student um, takes a field trip to a local tech company, basically um, they would notice that uh, if they walked around, they would see maybe one woman um, out of the whole company being okay. in oh, wow. the tech field. Okay. So Girl Develop It is here to provide an opportunity for us to grow more role models and inspire more the younger generations to get into gaming and coding. So is that kind of what you meant when you said non-judgmental? Right, non-judgmental, okay. non empowering women and making sure you know it is definitely affordable like like I said so you don't necessarily have to go to back to college to, to take these classes a lot of our students are self-taught yes. um, and become successful all right wow. so how can we get um, high school and elementary girls more interested in gaming and coding that's a great question I'd say um, definitely go talk to your counselor and see <laughs> what classes are offered but I also um, definitely encourage the schools to reach out to young women and women professionals that are in the field to have a optional lecture after school or maybe even do a um, after school program geared towards girls in coding. Cool. So why do you think girls are getting this message that coding's for boys or why is it why is it so drawn to the boys and why are the girls not saying oh my god I want to do it because I'm thinking my students I think they really want to do it but then when they start getting up to college they're like nah I don't want to do that what's going on what kind of messages are these girls getting what stereotypes are they seeing um, definitely for me from my perspective when I went through school and college um, I, I was the only girl in the classes mm -hmm. and when I took like I was mentioning earlier these uh, field trips to the tech field I wouldn't notice any uh, women in working with the men in there so I think that is one stereotype Type that we internally automatically assume that that, that is not the job for us. Mm -hmm. um, also, compared if you go to a hospital, you'll see plenty of nurses and doctors that are women. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to break down this stereotype and encourage more women who are over 18 to come and empower the younger women um, and start a new cycle. Nice.
Yeah, awesome. All right, so what do you want women to walk away with from uh, when they take one of your guys' classes? Um, it's a safe environment. It's, um, we want to empower you. You can always learn something new. Mm -hmm. And especially for the Rochester chapter here, uh, mm -hmm. we would love for you guys to come to us and let us know if there's any classes that you'd like to see. Um, at the Rochester chapter, we do all our classes and our um, meetups through meetup.com. Uh -huh. okay. So you can go there. It's meetup.com, Girl Develop It, Rochester, New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just shoot us an email and I am and be like, hey, I'd love to learn this I love to learn HTML, CSS. I love to learn JavaScript or jQuery. Right. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Okay, wow. So thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it was a pleasure, guys. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. So if you guys would like to learn more about Girl Develop It, head to our website, homeworkhotline.org. Stay right there. We're going to be back in a second.